Okay, so um, let's start with, I know I have paint on my face. I've been painting uh, for the past hour and a half or so with aerosols, so my place is filled with aerosol fog. I have it on my face, all over my hands, it's everywhere, and I'm really happy. Uh, but the painting I'm working on behind me, the one that got the paint on my face and everywhere else, is a portrait of blues and, and soul singer Lauren Mitchell. Uh, Lauren is currently touring with her new album, Desire, and uh, we're collaborating on, on my portrait of her, which you know she'll be using in the future for, for her projects. I'm really excited about this. Um, I, Lauren has... I've watched Lauren perform several times. I've heard her sing and watched her perform several times, and she just exudes this energy that, that I find incredibly exciting. She's just so forceful and so focused on what she's doing that um, I feel somewhat kinship with her um, because she doesn't take no for an answer and she just keeps going regardless of the situation. So I'm really excited about this. As you can see though, there's again, like I usually do, a lot of intricate design, intricate ideas. But I kind of exploded on her as I did in my last painting of Mahitable the Tattooed Lady with a lot of detail. And I did it because, I'm doing it this way because um, Lauren just on stage. And I want the viewer to feel that energy, that real punch to the chest that you get when you're seeing her perform, if you get to see her perform. She's, like I said, she's touring right now. She was in Tallahassee. I know she's headed to Chicago. If you get a chance, see her. You, you, you will never forget. You will never forget that woman. Well, in my portrait behind her anyway, I've got all this energy, all this detail, but I'm going to try to remember to leave her face and her arms clean. So you feel the calm at the center of this massive storm that she creates around her. I'm so incredibly excited about this. You have no idea. The last time I saw her perform, she did this thing with a fan. She was in the middle of singing and she went and then flew it up behind her while she was screaming into the mic and then brought it back and and then up again. She didn't even know she had done it. I mentioned it to, I think, my sister or to Lauren later, and I just, it just struck me so hard that I've been dying to dig into this so that I can put in that explosive fan feel. I really hate using exact imagery. I cannot stand, I cannot stand images or uh, artists that say, this is a such and such, like this is a fan, this is a birdhouse, this is a shoe. I really hate this is and have it being spelled out, but I want the idea, the imagery, the thought of the fan everywhere. So I have it in her lower dress. I have it in the pit on the on the um, sofa in the um, whatever it's called the sofa pattern, and then also somewhat in the wallpaper behind her, along with the exploding little shapes that I've found. I'm super duper, I don't think I can say it anymore, super excited to be doing this. Another image I'm starting later, another portrait I'm starting later is a new friend, Hot Juarez, and I'm trying, trying so hard to be respectful and say the name correctly. Juarez, it's either Juarez or uh, Juan de, Juarez, Juarez. Her nickname is Maggie. Um, so I'm doing a painting of, a portrait of Maggie, and again, it's going to be another two-panel painting. This one, I just, I'm thrilled by. Again, another person with dynamic energy. And I met Maggie Juarez while I was doing some errands one day. I saw this terrific figure walking across the parking lot with so much swagger and determination and just I am at her center, just so I drove by on my scooter, and apparently I was staring at her, turned around, came back, found her, and found her, found where she went in this restaurant, walked up to her and said, Hi, I'm going to sound like a crazy person right now, but my name is Beck, and I'm a professional artist. This is what I do. Can I please paint your portrait? And so I have the privilege of painting this dynamic person. Hopefully this is one of many 
because she's got great figure, great stature, great inner being. And after a long conversation yesterday, I know I want to get to know her better. I want her as my friend. So that's what I'm working on. But um, I've been on Periscope for an hour or and a half or something, and I haven't eaten yet today, so it's time for a sweet potato. I'm hungry. And uh, that's what we're up to for Fourth of July weekend. I'm off for another week. I have an entire week to myself. If I can get my hands on another bottle of Neoma Gilp, I'll be painting all week. If I can't, kind of screwed. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, ciao.